2023. My name is Stephanie and I've officially outgrown my sewing desk. It is where I cut fabric, is where I sew and serge, it's where I edit my videos as well as play video games. And I do it all on this little Ikea table here. So I thought, you know what, it's time for a little upgrade as well as implementing some other things in my sewing corner that allow me to be more productive, more organized, and enjoy my space more and feel less cluttered. So the first thing that we're gonna tackle is my desk. Now before you even get to see this beautiful new standing L desk that I got, I have to clean off my old one. Not only was it cramped, but I also had lots of trash and unorganized piles of things that I needed to take care of. I also made sure to give this desk a real nice clean in, a good wipe down because it's going into storage because I have a feeling in the future I will be using it for something else. Now it is crucial to be silly little gooses while cleaning up your space and preparing for a new desk. It's just essential, I don't make up the rules. And as we're assembling this desk, I make sure to read all of the rules thoroughly so as to not miss anything. And as we start assembling, it comes together super quickly. I'm super thankful for Alex's help. He actually has a standing desk and said that the assembly of this one was much easier. And I would definitely agree. It probably took us less than an hour to get the desk itself assembled. And we were being pretty leisurely about it. We s <laughs> assembled the desk so that when we flipped it over, it would like be right side out. After beautifully screwing in some screws, I am such a handy woman. <laughs> ah, yes, this one's better. Nice, success. The only thing we had to redo was turning these tabletops around one more time because when we put the legs on them, the holes didn't line up. But that didn't take long at all. I just basically did it myself and then we were good to go. Otherwise, the assembly of this thing was super simple, super easy, and kind of fun. It was like a little puzzle. All of the electronics for the legs were super easy to set up as well. Once we got this baby flipped over, we also made sure to quickly get it leveled because our house is old and not level. And we also had to very quickly test the standing electronic portion of the desk. Penny was our project manager for this portion of assembly and she did a great job. She gave us gold stars. We got this cable spine that was also sent over by FlexiSpot and this thing is awesome. It allows for your cables to not only be organized, but also gives them enough slack for either standing or sitting height. And it was super easy to do and it looks very cute. Well, it at least looks better than a bunch of cables just hanging out by my desks. And here's a little look at the cable management once it was all done. So I think that looks pretty good. And then I needed to move this extra storage I had to the other side of the desk, which offers more space for my serger, as well as go through some of my little bits and bobs and organize. New desk is installed and in position, but we still have quite a bit of cleaning up and organizing to do, so let's spruce it up. All right, I don't know about you guys, but if there's a horizontal surface with nothing on it, I'm putting stuff on it. it is, it's so bad. However, when I have designated spots for things to go, like little homes for my things, I do a lot better at keeping my space organized. So I figured a really good start for this kind of like cleanup would be to take everything off, even my dying plant, and clean everything off so that I have a really good fresh palette to start my artwork on. And then I basically just evaluated the space and put things I used most often in arm's reach as well as leaving it very cute and aesthetic. I also desperately needed to go through my patterns and kind of reevaluate what I wanted to keep and what I wanted to give away. So for my vintage patterns, I ended up keeping anything that was in my size and inspired me um, and pretty much got rid of anything that was not my size. But I kept my tried and true patterns and yeah, I really culled it down to something more manageable. I wanted to display these really beautiful gardening and keeping of the home books from the early 20th century I got from my mother-in-law. They're so pretty. And I of course had to do my figure up here, hugging my little pothos. And if you know me, you know I love a vibe, a huga moment. And so I obviously have incense and a candle in my office. Oh, and there's my boss. She is just so adamant that I finished this project. She's just watching me at all moments of the day. But she's looking so cute. Don't you just want to give her a little pet? I'll give her a virtual pet for you. 
And like I mentioned before, I use this space for a lot of things. And one of those things is creating a lot of content and media. So I went ahead and changed out drives for the new year and formatted all of my SD cards. And then I heard this. So obviously I had to do something about that because it is absolutely horrible. So I grabbed my Taylor soap. Yep, right out of the like little side compartment of my sewing machine. And you know what? I'm scratching, I'm rubbing it on my drawer and it worked amazing. So I would definitely recommend. <laughs> wow, that worked so much better than I even expected it to. And now that I have a little journaling space over here, I can put my little planner, which is my favorite planner, my little journal, which is something I've been trying to do more of this year and a little to-do list. And I obviously wanted to organize all of my beautiful yarn from Hobie Yarns. You can check out that video to see what I said, but is it not just so beautiful? <laughs> I was also due for a little bit of a fabric refold organization and please don't look too close because they're not perfect. But here's the thing, I'm grabbing stuff from like the middle of the shelf and it just messes them all up. So anyways, I usually like to organize them by type of fabric and by color. I also installed a new light above my desk and it is awesome. And I reorganized my whole pegboard so everything that I need on a daily basis is now in arm's reach, which it wasn't before. And I think it's really great. And now a moment for the desk. You guys, my space is totally transformed. This desk from FlexiSpot really is incredible. Um, I love that it's a standing desk and an L desk. So even though it's not as deep as my old desk, it's longer and I have these different zones that allow me to do all the different things I'm trying to do at this desk. I've got my cutting board here, which allows me to cut freely. I don't have anything on top of it, which is really nice and a huge change. So I've got all this space that I can just cut at a standing height, which is sick. And then I've got my sewing machine here, my serger over here, and I can put it on the desk if I want, as well as this kind of edit bay, not to mention gaming bay <laughs> or streaming, not to mention I can do all of it at a standing height, which is great for my back because I'm so used to cutting fabric on the floor. This is going to be gorgeous and amazing and I'm very excited. I hope that this has inspired you guys to change things up in your sewing space, to optimize whatever size space you have to be more streamlined and better for your productivity. I was so cramped and cluttered that I couldn't even really allow myself to be creative. Just look at what you have and see what you can do with it because I feel like I'm in a totally new space now. And it's a great start to 2023. So thank you again to FlexiSpot for sending this desk over. I really do love it. I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye guys.